in Egan, Minnesota at our Manufacturing Distribution Center. Uh, we're here today to introduce you to the Rhino Screen Frame and the Rhino Screen Mesh. That's RS Frame and RS Mesh. The frame itself is uh, obviously into aluminum construction. It's a self-tensioning frame. Um, we have our locking bolts, so once we get it tensioned out, we simply lock it in place. And we also have the mesh. Um, comes in a 24 by 28 inch size, pre-cut. Uh, 125 mesh and a 160 mesh. We may be expanding that at some point uh, based on demand, but we're starting out with these two mesh counts. So with the Rhino Screen 2.0 um, dry stencil system, um, it's great for your spot color printing and um, those types of things, one color, multicolor. Um, so that the kit that we're going to be showing you um, actually comes with uh, three pieces of the 125 mesh. It also comes with two of the stretching devices. You have your locking device for the bolts on the inside. You also have your coated colored spines. You'll see how these are used. And of course, least but not least, the squeegee that helps you put it in. So let's take a closer look at what we have here and um, we'll actually stretch one up so you can actually see how it works. Okay, we have our frame. Let me. It's all loose, so I want to make sure I get the corners in tight to start with. We take our mesh, and again, this is uh, a uh, 24 by 28 inch. The frame is actually 21 by 25, so that it'll fit over the bed of a 16 by 20 uh, heat press when you get to that point. So we're going to start on this uh, on the short end here, or the short length in our frame. I simply Take the spine, the black spine, start with the black, put it into its slot. I then take a short yellow, which is a little bit shorter than the black. And the reason for that is so that we have two layers like this. And then this lets the, the mesh slide ever so slightly when you're doing your stretching so that you don't blow out the corner while you're doing it. So we fold it back. Stick it in there, in that little slot, get it started, and then we can just press it in along the way. Okay, and you want to make sure that the, the yellow is centered somewhere in the general center of the, of the unit, same distance on each side. We'll go over to the other side. start out with our short black one. Now make sure that you actually get a little tension on the screen so you don't have to crank it up as much as you're going through the stretching process. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take our short yellow, fold back the mesh, and push it down in there. And the squeegee is there just to get it to help you get it in, nice and tight. Okay, let's go to the long bar side, and again get a little tension on the mesh, and then go ahead and insert it. Fold the mesh back, push it down into its groove. and work your way down. There we go. And we go to our last side. Again, get a little tension on the mesh. and then go to the yellow. And you, if, if you didn't notice, please note that I'm pushing it in this way, not this way. Because it makes it a lot easier. 
Obviously, you can start from the other side if you want. It makes no difference. I just happen to be left-handed, so I seem to gravitate to that location. We now have our mesh in place. Obviously, it's soft. Now we're going to go through the actual extending of that. Um, what we can do to make it even simpler is I'm going to start on the long bar side. We will insert our stretchers, back it off to the zero point. You can see how it's going up against it. So what we're going to do, be doing is pushing against the frames. Okay, get it so that it just has a little bit of tension on it, and then I'm going to do 12 half turns. Lock that in position. Back these off. Do our zero point again. Go to the opposite side. Stretcher. And we're going to do 12 half turns. There's 12. Now one of the things that you may be able to see or not is that there's actually grooves cut along on the inside of that. So you can start using that as your monitor after you've gotten some experience using it so that you can always go out to the same tension point. Okay, again we take our tool here, tighten in our bolts, and back off. Now we'll move it to our short side. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And as you can see, the tension is obviously going up because it's getting a little harder to turn those. And we'll go to the fourth and last stretch. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I'll take these off. Flip it over and take our rhino meter and see what we have here. We have 30 newtons in that direction and we have just over 30 newtons in this direction. So that's a really nice taut screen for utilizing it with the rhino screen 2.0. What I like to do at this point is just cut off the excess fabric. We cut off all the excess around the frame, so we now have our Rhino screen frame, or the RS frame, with the RS mesh. The nice thing about this is that it's simple to do, it's relatively fast. Once you've done it once or twice, you'll speed up dramatically. You get a 30 Newton or greater tension on your mesh, 
Um, and now, if I'm going to be doing my Rhino screen 2.0, and I've put it on my screen, I've blocked it out, I've run my job, is that I can just say, you know what, I'm not using chemicals, I'm going to take off the excess ink, I'm not going to go and get rid of the, the rest of the ink, I'm not going to get rid of the stencil, I'm just going to take it off, throw it away. You're looking at approximately a $5 investment, um, and this is going to save you a lot of time. Obviously, you can take it off if you want. Uh, there is a remover um, that will help break it down, and then you high pressure off the stencil. At that point, you're going to dehaze it because it's going to leave a black image just from the, the stencil material itself. And then you reuse that frame. So you can do that, but when you look at the fact that all you have to do is take it off, particularly for those of you that are you know, maybe working at home, you don't want to have a lot of chemicals around because you have kids and that sort of thing. This makes it really easy and simple. Take it off, restretch, and you're up and running. Of course, you have the kit. You can also buy just the frames independently. The mesh comes in a 10-pack of 125s or a 10-pack of 160s. Um, so you can be doing multicolor jobs if you want, utilizing these frames. And the Rhino Screen 2.0. Thank you for watching. You know where to find us. Until next time.